All right, guys, Eric Rivera here, Fitness Phenom. A lot of you guys have asked me, hey, how do you get a muscle up? How do you perform a muscle up, etc." Well, watch this video. I'm gonna explain the different progressions, the different prerequisites you wanna have in order to get your very first muscle. This goes without saying, but it's very important because I've seen this happen many times when I'm coaching classes or coaching my members or coaching a client where they try to rush the process, right? If you want to be able to do a muscle up, whether that's a ring muscle up or in this case, a bar muscle up, right? There are some prerequisites you want to have, right? In regards to strength. You must be able to perform pull-ups, strict pull-ups. If you do not have strict pull-ups, right? If you can't link together strict pull-ups, then you have no business trying muscle-ups just yet. Right? Ideally, I have my athletes do at least 10 strict pull-ups, all the way down and all the way up, right? The reason for that, not only do you build the musculature needed to perform a muscle-up, so you're working those lats and those biceps, etc., to get yourself over the bar, but you are also working those tendons and those ligaments. You want to strengthen your tendons. You want to strengthen those ligaments. Right? If you're doing a kipping muscle up, more so, right? Because you're moving a lot, etc. Uh, you're putting a lot of stress into those ligaments and those tendons in those joints. So you want to have that essentially be strong enough to support your body. Right? So if you don't have strict pull-ups, palms facing away. Full range of motion, right? Do not work on muscle ups just yet. If you work on those pull ups, you can work on progression, but do not work on muscle ups, right? The second thing you want to have are dips, right? Because when you get over the bar, what do you got to do? You got to dip out, right? At the top. So if you don't have dips, if you don't have strong dips, if you can't perform at least 10, good full range of motion dips, then don't work on muscle ups, regress, take a step back, work on those pull ups, work on those dips. Once you have those, uh, those pull ups and those dips, once you have that foundational strength, then you can go ahead and advance into more advanced movements like the muscle ups, right? So, pull ups number one, dips number two, make sure you guys have those. All right guys, third thing you wanna have an understanding of before you attempt muscle ups, or try to get your first muscle up is understanding body position. Right? Specifically, hollow bodies and arch, arch holds, right? So you want to understand how to go from arch to hollow, back to arch, back to hollow. How does that look on a pull-up bar? So, on a pull-up bar, if you've done arch and hollow bodies on the floor, right? You want that to carry over to a pull-up bar. If you haven't done that yet, obviously work on the floor first until you have an understanding of that movement. But a hollow, or let's start with arch first. In an arch position, right, you're gonna be on the pull-up bar, your head is gonna be out in front, your feet are gonna be behind you, right? Almost like that banana peel shape, if you will, right? Staying nice and tight, right? Feet off the floor, head out in front, arms are extended, head through. And then to get into that hollow body position, you want to push the bar back, move your head back, and then have the feet out in front. Right? So a hollow body position will be back here. Right? So head back, feet out in front, arch position, head through, feet behind you. Right? So understand those two positions, those two positions are very important in order to get a muscle up. Right? 
right? A good clean muscle, right? Or a kippy muscle for that matter, right? So you gotta understand arches and you gotta understand hollow body forms. So practice those. You can even add some movement, some rocks, understand that movement and carry that over to the pull up, right? Now, the reason you wanna understand that, right? It's because most likely your first muscle up will not be a strict muscle up, meaning without losing any type of momentum, without losing your hips or your legs, right, to kick up, right, you're gonna be kicking, you're gonna be kipping specifically to get that first muscle up. That is fine, that is how we all started. No one ever got their first muscle up by pulling themselves up and getting over the for the most part. Um, so, how do we carry over, how do we carry that over to the bar, right? You should be able to go from arch to hollow and stop on the man. So, arch to hollow, arch to hollow, arch to hollow, right? Notice how I'm keeping my legs nice and tight, I'm not breaking at the knees, right? Arms are straight, I'm not pulling myself up, I'm just going from that arch position I'm sorry, from the hollow body position to the arch position, right? So I'm going from arch, pushing the bar back, to hollow, right? That's very important, right? So get that kip, it's called a kip. So understand that kip first, because you're gonna use that kip to build momentum to get your first muscle. All right, guys, once you have an understanding of how to kip on the bar, right? You want to try, you want to go ahead and try that muscle up. How do you do that? You want to get your shoulders over the bar so you're able to dip, right? So you want to get yourself high enough so you're able to dip out of that. How do you do that? Okay, so, there's a very common misconception when it comes to bar muscle ups, right? It looks like a pull up into a dip. You're actually pushing the bar away, right? So you're using a lot more left than you think by pushing the bar away. As you're pushing the bar away, you're driving your hips up so that you're able to get your shoulders and your chest over the bar, right? So that bar should be landing by your belly button, right? So, show you a nice muscle up again. Here. Back up, right? So, there's different ways to go about that, right? One way is to what's called a box muscle up or a jumping muscle up. Let's do this side right here. Where you grab a bench, in my case the box or anything you need, or maybe use a lower bar if you have that in the playground or any type of calisthenics park. Use a lower bar so that your feet are on the floor and at the bar, you're over the bar, right? In a sense. So, from here, you're essentially gonna squat down so that your arms are extended, right? You want your arms to be extended. You're gonna get into that arch position, if you will, the upper body, push the bar away, and then use your legs to get over the bar. So in true speed, I'm here. Notice how my shoulders and my chest is clearing the pull-up bar, right? I'm getting in towards my abdominal area, right? My lower abdominal area. Right, again, from here. Then use your legs to help yourself up. This is gonna give you a feel for that muscle, right? So your body has a better understanding. If you don't have a feel for the muscle up, you're not gonna understand how to get a muscle up. So when you're actually going for it, your body's not gonna be too sure of what it is you gotta do. You're probably gonna try to pull yourself up, right? You're not gonna be able to turn over. You're not gonna get yourself high enough to dip out. Now, uh, once you've practiced these, right? What else, uh, the other movement that's gonna help are negatives, right? You guys heard me say this many times before. Negatives are gonna help build that strength, right? So in this case, it'll help build strength, but it'll also help build basically that neuromuscular activity, if you will, 
on how to get that muscle up, how to do, how to perform your muscle up. So your body has a better understanding of how to do it. So for a negative, when it comes to muscle up, you can do a jumping muscle up, get over the bar any way you can, right? And then you're gonna control the descent. So once you're up there, control the dip, control the turnover, that's gonna be the hardest part. Obviously, gravity, Inertia is going to take over, but try your best to control the dip and then control that negative pull. So it will look like this. You can do a jumping muscle up or a box muscle up. Go over. Once you're up, control the negative and then control that turnover into that pull. Get a couple of reps of those, get a feel for those, right? So you have a better understanding of it. And again, those are gonna have great carrier, right? So once you have your pull-ups, once you have your dips, right? Understand your arch and your hollow body hold. Understand your positioning through space, right? Because that's exactly what we're doing. We're moving through space, right? Around the bar. Once you have a better understanding of that, then we can throw in, or rather, then we can work on the, the kips, arch the hollows, right? And then we can go ahead and use the box for the jumping muscle up, for box muscle ups, right? Once you've, you're capable of doing those and you're comfortable with those, then you can go ahead and add in the negatives where you control the descent. Once you have all of those down packed, right? That's when you should start performing or trying to perform your bar muscle up, right? Because you've developed the prerequisite strength with the pulls and the dips, you've developed the body awareness, the hollow body holes and the kips, right? As well as the negatives and the box muscle up. So once you have all of those, you can go ahead and perform the bar muscle up. So I'm gonna start off by kipping, right? into a bar muscle up, and again for that bar muscle up, push the bar away, drive the hips up, get your shoulders and your chest over the bar, and dip out. So here, right. let me show you that kip, arch the hollow, drive over. Once you get better with that little kipping muscle up, using that arch to hollow, then you can start practicing strict muscle ups. That'll come over time, over repetition, or repetition of the movement, right? So you wanna practice those muscle ups, getting over, pressing out, get those movements in, get those reps in, then you can practice strict bar muscles. But, more than likely, your first one will not be strict. You will use the momentum, which is perfectly fine. Right? So, if you have any questions, please leave a comment below. Right? Try to make all repetitions clean as best you can. When it comes to muscle ups, you're gonna use a little bit of kip, but eventually you wanna clean that up. Right? Make sure you have those pull ups, make sure you have those dips first, so that you have that foundational strength, that shoulder strength, that tendon and ligament strength, in order to perform these muscles. So, as always guys, like and subscribe, and again, leave some comments below, let me know what you guys think, let me know exactly where you're at, if you have any questions, let me know below as well. Follow me on the gram, fitnessbeanom21, show some love.